Welcome to Dairy Judging 101. I am Dr. Katherine Knowlton, a professor in the Department of Dairy Science at Virginia Tech. We are creating a sequence of short recordings covering the basics of judging dairy cattle. To complement those, we're putting together some practice classes. The first eight slides will present the cows in the class alone and together. Then we show you what our placing would be with cuts and how we would take notes on the class. Finally, we'll present an example set of reasons, either by me or by a student from Virginia Tech or another team. We hope this helps you. So here's your class. Let's call them Ayrshire three-year-old cows.
Okay, so there's your Ayrshire three-year-old cows. You can toggle back and forth through these slides as you need to, but don't go forward from here until your placing is complete. This is how we would place the class with our cuts. If you don't agree with the placing or want to adjust the cuts a little bit, that's perfectly fine with me. Our purpose is just to provide you some classes to practice with. Now, let's hear a set of reasons on this class. Doing reasons on these Ayrshire cows is Joseph Haycoop from Florida. Joseph has had a great deal of success in FFA, and he was on the Florida 4-H dairy judging team last fall. 3-1-2-4 is how I place this class of Ayrshire cows. In the top pair, I placed a stylish three over the well-uttered one, as she exhibited much more style and balance throughout. She was sharper over her withers, more prominent throughout the hips and pins, had more openness and depth of rib, with a deeper barrel, and was more feminine throughout the head and neck, with a straighter, stronger top line, and was taller at the point of withers, longer from head to tail, and had a longer rump with less slope from hips to pins. In addition, she had more bloom and capacity to the mammary system with a wider rear udder attachment and tracked out smoother on a more correct set of rear feet and legs with more centrally placed thurls. Although I do grant that one had a smoother blending forward or attachment, more centrally placed teats and was more level across the udder floor. In my middle pair, I placed one over two as one had a higher wider rear udder attachment a smoother, stronger forwarder attachment, had more centrally placed teats with more texture and veining to the mammary system. Furthermore, she had more spring and sweep of rib and had a wider chest with a smoother blending front end in a wider rump and was longer from the tip of her nose to the end of her tail. However, I do not fail to recognize that too had a deeper barrel and more depth of rib. In my middle pair, I placed two over three as two carried udder closer to the body wall, had a higher, wider udder attachment with a smoother, longer forwarder attachment, had a more defined media suspensory ligament with more centrally placed teats and had much more texture and veining to the mammary system, was longer from head to tail with a deeper barrel and more feminine throughout the head and neck. Although I do grant that four, had more bloom and capacity to the memory system. I placed four with the bob in the class today. She lacked the overall strength of memory attachments to place any higher in this class. These are my reasons for placing this class of Ayrshire cows, three, one, two, four.